Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is use Microsoft Teams. Back in 2004, I had two staff members decide to move interstate. And since we didn't want to lose them, we decided to stay in touch and run our weekly meetings with video conferencing. We were using HP TC1100 tablet PCs, one of my first tablets, with webcams and MSN Messenger. We thought we were from the future. Very few people were working remotely back then. Work was done at the office. And a lot has changed in 16 years, especially in the last few months. During the 2020 flu pandemic, millions of people suddenly discovered video conferencing and working from home. And it seems like everyone I know from one to 100 years old has been on a Zoom meeting. Now we previously shared how you can run a Zoom meeting on your Surface devices. And I attend and host Zoom meetings on a weekly basis. But today's video tip is using Microsoft Teams. Now you might wonder, why should I use Teams instead of Zoom or something else? And really, Teams or Zoom, it's not an apples for apples comparison. In our business, we use Teams for all of our meetings because Teams is much more than a video conferencing app. Yes, video conferencing is a big part of Teams. In Teams, you can host video calls without time limits, with up to 300 people at a time. And if you need more than 300 people, then there's Teams Live Events, which allows you to stream meetings. In a Teams call, you can blur out your background, or swap it out, you can share your screen or documents, you can share a digital whiteboard, and you can record your call, and much more. And Teams calls are best on Surface because of the consistently great webcams and those dual Farfield studio mics that you'll find on all of the current Surface models. But Teams goes way further than video calling. Now, Teams was designed to replace Skype for business, so it does include persistent chat with emojis, GIFs, and now file sharing. And this part gets tricky to talk about, but it's the Teams part of Teams. That's really special because a team in Teams is a place to share conversations with your team. Why is this different to chat? Well, teams change. People join teams, people leave them. But with teams, you can create a trail of conversations that explains everything. And it's available and searchable to all current members of the team. And a team is not just a place to have chats. It's a place to work together on files, plans, forms, OneNote notebooks, third-party web services, and much, much more. There's no need to ask, where is the file? It's there in the team. And if you still can't find it, well, then you can search for it. Now, Teams is a free service from Microsoft, but there are some really big upgrades if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription. Things like meeting recordings with Stream, and up to one terabyte of file storage per user. Over the next couple of months, we'll share some videos on working in Teams with your Surface. And there's actually some exciting new features coming for Teams soon too. So we'll keep you posted on that. Got any questions about Teams? Hit us up in the comments below. And if you wanna find out more about Surface and Teams, subscribe. And remember to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. We thought we were from the future. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized. <laughs> Come have a look at the audio cue. <laughs> it's completely upside down. <laughs> and I don't know why I didn't I didn't pick it up. I just kept reading it. And I'm like, this is really challenging to read the audio cue today.